Okay, let's talk about the copper coil. Now, the copper coil is, in my opinion, the best method of non-hormonal contraception, aside from being sterilized. But the beauty of this is, when you take it out, your fertility comes back. So, what on earth am I talking about? Well, the copper coil, or you may hear it referred to as the IUD, which stands for interuterine device, looks a bit like this. And what this does is this little device sits in your womb. And what, how it stops you having a baby is its presence stops implantation and the copper on it kills the sperm so you can't get pregnant. These can be fitted as a contraceptive method and they can also be fitted as a kind of emergency contraceptive. Emergency contraceptive. So come and discuss that with us. Things you need to know about the copper coil. Well, having a copper coil fitted is not without risk. So there is a very small chance that when we're putting it in, we could go through the lining of the womb, what we call a perforation. Now the risk of that is dependent on the, how many coils usually the person uh, fitting it does. So if you do more, your chances are less. If that were to, but the risk is, I would say about one in 2000. If that were to happen, you may need a procedure in order to remove it. But that is a small risk and I, should, I wouldn't let it put you off having the copper coil. The other things to warn you about is if you were to get pregnant with a copper coil in, it's more likely to be a pregnancy outside of the womb. So for example, an ectopic pregnancy in the tube. But if you're not on any contraception, you're at much higher risk of that because you're at much higher risk of getting pregnant in the first place. You're not likely to get pregnant with this because they're really, really effective. The copper coils can fall out. So they quote one in 20. I'll be honest, I think it's lower than that in real life, but that's what the textbooks tell us. Um, so what we say to you is you'll see there's these threads hanging down from the coil and they will be cut but so that you can feel them if you feel inside the vagina up to the cervix. And what does the cervix feel like? A bit like the tip of your nose. So we recommend people to feel for the threads about once a month. Usually the best time is after a period because it's likely to be a period that pushes the coil out. So if you don't feel the threads or you feel the threads have got longer or you feel something hard that feels like the head of a match, the coil may have slipped down, have protected sex or don't have any sex and come and see us. But the coil is really, really good. It's an effective method of contraception and it's got no hormones. So what, is there any negatives? Well, apart from the risks I've just mentioned, some people may find their periods get heavier and may last a bit longer. Now, it's not everybody, and we can't tell by looking at you whether you're gonna be one of those people or not. So it's weighing up the risk and benefit of that. So. You can always give it a go, and if it doesn't suit you, we can reassess things. So what is having a copper coil fitted like? Okay, don't Google and read the horror stories. Yes, it's a bit uncomfortable. So what I would say is take some paracetamol, ibuprofen an hour before your appointment. That will just help with the pain relief a bit. And then what we do is we put an instrument into the vagina to find the cervix. Now that's a bit like having a smear test done. We do a bit of cleaning and then you will feel a pinchy feeling in your stomach when we hold, hold the cervix still. And then you'll feel a crampy feeling. Now that what that we're doing there is we are measuring the length of your womb so we know how far to put the coil in. And it does give a cramp like a bad period pain. And then you'll feel another crampy feeling when we're putting the coil in. But it's not done under general anaesthetic. You will be awake talking to us. If you want to know anything, you want us to stop at any point, just say so. We do have local anaesthetic gels we can use and injections that we've got put into the cervix to give a bit of a block to help with pain relief if we think that you need it. We advise you not to have sex for a couple of days or use tampons for a couple of days after we've fitted it. And to be aware of things like unusual discharge and flu-like symptoms because after fitting for about the first 14 to 20 days you could be at increased risk of infection. After that you're at no increased ongoing risk. So it's really good.
Depending on which core we put in, it will last you for five to ten years without you even having to think about contraception and it's got no hormones. So if you're interested in this, come and discuss it further and let's see if we can get one fitted for you.